All right, so like I said, we're going to talk about when you use which type, permutation or combination. Uh, so the main thing is you have to decide, does order matter? Remember, permutation is like places, order matters, combination, you're just choosing things. So we want to know how many are the ways are there to choose the winner, first, second, and third runners-up in the Miss America contest um, with the 10 finalists. So remember in our last video, we picked our 10, our top 10, and they moved on to the next stage of the competition. And now we're going to name winners. Winner, first runner-up, second runner-up, and third runner-up. So we have 10 ladies to choose from, and we are placing four of them. And the order matters, okay? It probably matters to you if you're the winner or you're the third runner-up. So if order matters, this is a permutation. So in your calculator, you're going to do 10, probability button, go get the permutation, and then 4. So there are 5,040 ways for these finalists to be chosen for those top spots. All right, so we have pizza. How many different two-topping pizzas can be made if there are six options for toppings? So we have six items. That's our N, what we have to choose from, and we are going to take two of them. Now, um, if you're just making a pizza, the order that you put the toppings on really doesn't matter. I mean, if you're having like pepperoni and bacon, that's no different than having bacon and pepperoni, unless you're really, really particular about your pizza. So this is just choosing. Okay, it's a combination. We're just choosing two toppings. The order we put them on the pizza does not matter. So in your calculator, you'll do 10, choose two. So there are 15 different pizzas that can be made, um, two topping pizzas that can be made. All right, and Allie is taking seven different classes next year. Assuming each class is offered each period, how many different schedules can she have? So there are seven classes that she definitely wants, and she's going to choose all seven of them. Okay, this was seven classes, and she has to put seven of them into her schedule. Um, it's your schedule. Like, order matters. Like, it, it matters if you have um, Algebra 2 second period or if you have fifth period or whatever. So this is a permutation. And if you put that into your calculator, seven permutation of seven is 5,040. So those are our basic counting techniques. We've got the fundamental principle and um, permutations and combinations. And they all come in super helpful in counting the ways that you can do something. And when we move on to probability, it helps us find the total number of ways things can happen.